Hello people, my name is Kevin and welcome to Wanna Watch a Movie. Thank you so very much for joining me. Tonight I'm going to be finishing Invincible Season 2, watching the episode 8, the season finale. Super, super pumped for uh, this finale because I imagine it's going to be absolute insanity, especially in light of, you know, last season's finale, if that's any indicator. I'm anticipating some fight between uh, Mark and uh, Angstrom Levy because she's taken Debbie and uh, and Oliver hostage, which is super nerve wracking. I really hope like if uh, if Oliver's uh, Viltrumite powers kick in or something, maybe he's gonna like unwittingly protect Debbie or something. I don't know, that'd be cool. Alan is gonna infiltrate the prison where Nolan is being held. Mark and Amber just broke up. I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of fallout on that. Not sure what else, but I'm sure we will get mixed, probably some follow-up on what happened with Anissa. Um, I'm trying to remember what else. Yeah, nothing else is really ringing the bell right now. It's also pretty late, so I'm just gonna head empty a little bit. Oh. Hmm. Something else just occurred to me. I just was we haven't seen the Mahler twins at all since episode four, the end of episode four of the season. So like actually makes me kind of nervous. Like what the hell have they been up to? Maybe we'll check in on them a little bit. Anyway, I'm um, gonna get started in a sec. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate each and every single one. It means the world to me. If you want to support the channel, you can join my Patreon. Link is in the description below. If you join there, you can get access to uh, polls or you can vote on what I watch next. You can join a Discord server where you can chat with me about movies and shows. You'll get early access to my YouTube edits and full-length reactions as well, so if that's your thing, head on over there. And so without further ado, let's get started with Invincible Season 2, Episode 8, Season Finale. Here we go. Episode 8, I Thought You Were Stronger. Oh damn, okay. Previously. Let me guess, you can open portals between dimensions. Invincible, you don't understand! Angstrom Levy. I need to make him pay! Hello, Mark. Okay, here we go. When are you coming home? What's this? Androids? Oh, is that Nolan? Yep. Wait, what is this supposed to be? Alternate universe? Okay. This is still, okay. You came all the way out here for me? Finally fit for your execution. They're not gonna kill Nolan. Probably, I, I don't think. Oh, this is gonna kill me. Nope, but something else probably will. You got this, Taylor. Keep this up. You're gonna feel... Invincible. You'll feel... And it all crumbles away, just black and blue. Like a million bucks. There's a chance you could kill me before I snap her neck. I'm not sure. Take your fucking hands off her. Is the Mark Grayson of this dimension a risk taker? Before I forget, <laughs> I'm blocking all signals within these four walls. Who are you and what do you want? He made me call you. Don't you fucking digger hurt Debbie. I don't know why you're here, but I'm warning you. You really don't remember who I am. He just met you. Oh God, you're that guy. Oh right, yeah. That guy? That's all you remember of me? That I was that guy? Take your fucking hands off her. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. I am Angstrom Levy, and you made me into a monster. I didn't do anything to you. You did this! <gasps> Oliver. You need help. Let me just... I had help! I had the best doctors in a dozen dimensions, but even they couldn't fix this! Mark, just kill him now. Come get me. Now he's got a plan. Open a portal, he's gonna open a portal. Don't do it, Mark. Fuck. Quick, back in, back in, back in the through the portal. Come on, quick. Oh, dinosaurs. It's just the damnedest thing. If I wasn't looking right uh, at Okay, it, talking dinosaurs. This might as well happen. I smelled it first, it's mine. Stay back. No one's eating me. This is so weird. It speaks. <laughs> Too. Oh, he took him back. <gasps> I like your brother's color. Put him down. You know, I haven't encountered him in any other reality yet. I have no intention of hurting your brother or your mother. Don't believe you at all. So do me a favor and 
What? Talk about your bad luck, Prof Ock. Oh, Prof Ock? <laughs> Let's get this guy webbed up. Wait, are you trying to hurt this old man? I know you're from another dimension. Got way too much experience with that, especially lately. <laughs> like Spider Verse? That was a great joke. You said you wouldn't hurt us. As long as your son suffers and dies like he deserves to. F fuck you, man. One wrong move and they fall. I've got a dimension all picked out where the ground is eight stories lower than it is here. This is a terrible way to torture someone. I mean, it's brutal. I don't know what game you're playing, but you're not a killer. But I remember that night. You were trying to save me. You were a good person trying to do a good thing. <laughs> different, different, invincible, dude. I wouldn't save him, not me, not ever. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, is his, ooh, his, he's remembering. His mind is like fracturing or something. I won't build my utopia with blood. Again, that's a great line. Justice will come for you. Oh, he's remembering. <gasps> episode one. <laughs> episode one. You will reap. Let's what do you... this, Mark. I miss mommy. <laughs> Looks familiar. Looks like The Last of Us a little bit. Oh. Oh, poor Angstrom. He's a cape. Oh. Tell you what. Black lenses. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I'll Mark. Kill the boy quickly. Ah. Debbie, do you not have a gun or something? Oh damn. All these alternative suits. Oh god. Oh god. This is just insanity. Wow, Mark really did turn evil in so many different dimensions. Oh God, Jesus Christ, Mark. He's a murderer! He deserves to die right now! Oh, thank you. It's over. I am done playing your game. Are they? Cough his arms or something. Let them go and you can take your best shot. All right, I won't even fight back. But what would be the fun in that? Fuck you, man. You can't hurt me with that. Shack <gasps> <gasps> oh. ass. Just as stupid in every dimension. In a post-apocalypse world or something? Okay, where is he now? Where is he now? Neat. Zombie world. Great. It's okay, Mark. You can deal with this. Just fly up. <laughs> okay, thank you, Debbie. <gasps> Fight back, fight back, fight. I love you, Debbie. <gasps> you fucking. Damn it. How long could this go on for? In so many other dimensions, you join your husband and son when they slaughter millions and make the earth burn. This isn't this Debbie's fault, fucker. Your family's legacy is blood. <laughs> I raised the boy who defied his father and saved this planet. Yeah. And he is no killer. You sure about that? He might kill you if you push him far enough. That's why you're so angry. Because you turned out rotten here, and Mark is the hero for once. You don't know anything! Oh my... I hope you die. I hope you die. I hope you die. I hope you die. I'm not the villain! Said everything ever. <gasps> oh my god. Your son is the monster! Oliver, that's my powers, please, please, please. Oh my god, her arm. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm going to make your son hurt. I'm even gonna make this child hurt. Please, someone check in on her. Portal, as soon as I come out, with no gap in between them, so it's... Okay, so he's like, just talking to survivors? I, I, again, okay, caveman. Oh, that's omnipotous. You're a man who dresses like a bat, and your name is... Batman? Don't you think that's kind of lazy? That was like a modified version of the Batman theme from Danny Elfman. Two. Oh. I wasn't in the mood. And Max? <laughs> what else is he gonna do? He's just gonna have to go in, right? 
just good. This is over, Mark. Mom. Oh my God. Just end it. Thank you. Good, 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 good. I know Mark doesn't like killing, but it, this has to end. Remember those doctors I told you about? Oh. The ones who rebuilt my body? Oh shit. He's strong enough to. So improved it. Shit, 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 shit. Why do you think I was softening you up? Christ. Ah. Just going everywhere. I don't want to do it myself. Oh, come on. Did you think anything less than killing you with my bare hands would satisfy me? Come on. No. Mark, come on, get out of this. This doesn't end until you and your family are dead. Stop threatening my family! <sighs> you have no idea what I've been through! Jesus, come on, come on, Mark. I've been holding back! He's always been holding back, yeah. Oh my god, he's really gonna kill him, isn't he? I'll never let anyone ever! Oh god. Mark. I mean, he deserved it, but like, Mark didn't deserve this. He, this is the first person he's killed. Oh, he's gonna worry he's becoming like his dad now, isn't he? <laughs> oh, he managed to not vomit. Oh shit, but how does he get back? <laughs> oh my God, is he, is this how the season's gonna end with him stuck in a different dimension? I thought you were stronger. He's talking to himself, or is he talking to Angstrom Levy? Okay, okay, get her some help. Get her some help, please. Get her to a fucking hospital. Ma'am, are you okay? Does she fucking look okay? Oh, oh, thank God. Jesus Christ, what happened? Where's Mark? How does Mark get back? How does Mark get back? Oh God, oh God, oh God. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill him. He tried to kill me. That's he right, tried to actually. kill my mom and my brother. That's right. It was an accident, but he made me do it. I didn't want to kill him. I did it. I had to. Oh, Mark. I lost control. I wanted to kill him. What does that make me? I thought he was stronger. He told me he was stronger. You're still a good person, Mark. Despite it all, you're still a good person. Where am I? I just want to give him a hug. He took me here and I killed him. I'm stuck here. I can't get home now. <laughs> oh god, he's losing it now. He's hysterically laughing. Extremely. <laughs> There's gonna be a way back. <laughs> oh shit. The council states that in order for a Viltramite to be executed, he must be whole and intact. But they say nothing of bruises. So just beating the crap out of him just for the sick pleasure of it? Don't try anything. He's gonna. Move, scum. Alan. Remember me? Yes. Why are you here? Prison break. For you, man. I'm here for you. Talk soon. Okay, good, good, good. Let's devise a plan, come on. That, like... Tele telepathic thing, super helpful. God, he's still covered in blood. Nothing. It's probably like all caked, like uh, clotted, like it's probably super uncomfortable by now. You've really done it this time, Mark Grayson. Don't think talking to yourself is the best thing right now. So inside your head, outside your head, what's the difference? That's what I always say. Maybe his body could somehow still. Oh, what we got here? Oh, uh, <gasps> Oh, the <gasps> Eve and the others. Mark, you look terrible. Oh, thank you. Is that you? Not the me you know. Not anymore, at least. Different dimension? I did something horrible. The only logical reason for you to be stuck in this dimension would be if you injured or killed Angstrom Levy during your fight. We knew this long ago. Robot is all bigger and bulletproof is old. And... Maybe for you. For us, it was 20 years ago. 20 years. Four working time machines in Guardian custody. Okay. We've already said too much. I'm opening a portal that will send you home. Time machines, okay, great. Oh, thanks. I don't know if I would have survived here. You did, 
that you wouldn't like what you had become. Oh, oh damn. And Monster Girl has a suit. Mark, wait. I love you, Mark. <sighs> I have for a very long time, and when you disappeared, I was devastated. Oh. I should have told you. Wow, okay. I... No, don't tell me. Tell her. Oh. Tell her you love her. Or tell her you don't love her. Just tell her something so that she can go on with her life. Now go. Okay, wow, that's, uh, that's a lot to put on him, but I can see why you'd say that. Oh. I suppose you weren't paying attention when we discussed not damaging the time stream. Shut up, Rex. That's Rudy. Oh, wait, is that? I can't even tell Is that if that's Rudy or Rex. She's doing good, and all she's done is ask about you. I appreciate everything. Always. Oh, Debbie. Oh, my God. Everybody's got black eyes. Mom. I'm okay, Mark. <laughs> they just want to give them all a hug. I just want to hug them all. You didn't have a choice. Don't beat yourself up over it. He's You're gonna not anyway. your dad, Mark. You weren't there. If the bad guys are dead and the good guys are alive, that's a good day. How do you know the difference? All the bad guys are usually ones who break people's arms. Yeah. You're not him. He's got a really simplified morality there, but you there. he's kind of right in this case. And yeah, he wasn't there. Can we talk? Make it fast. My bread's getting soggy. Your transformations are a problem. And I fix problems. It's what I'm good at. I care for you. So I wanted to fix your problem. I'm sorry if along the way I became a problem myself. I get that fixing stuff is your thing. And I get that you want to help. Just talk to me first. Like a person. Yeah. Not a broken gadget or computer or whatever. Understood. Mm, sharing a sandwich. Like maybe ask me out on another date sometime. These two. Would you, you like to? Yes. Okay, they're cute. All right, what we got here? Got a trophy, got a top hat. Oh, the immortal. Wait, I'm did I? I'm sorry, it? I never told you. Kate. Kate. She's alive. Zero. Always kept hidden and lived through a copy. I was so tired of dying. Okay, they get their reunion. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. It's okay. Everything's okay. Okay, all right. Oh, got a scarab there. Scarab beetle. You got this? This won't be good. I can lift a truck. Who'd you get your powers from, anyway? Grandma, on my mom's side. Go! Okay, now you're trapped. Come on. We'll find another way out. I wouldn't be so sure about that. I guess caves or tombs are very well known for having alternative exits. Was this the guy from season one? Like we had like a brief scene of this, I think, in season one. Oh, Dad. Well, this will be a problem. A cahor. You're both female. And? I must inhabit a living male host. Sexist. That sexist. Uh. Mark That's again flying over it. And I can do this. Oh, season one. I want to do what you do. I want to be just like you. You will be, son. Uh, 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 everyone and everything you know will be gone. Uh, 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 just pushing himself harder and harder. Oh, holy shit, Mark. Cool it. You will assume his mission and prepare the planet for our rule. That won't be you, Mark. Oh. I feel so bad for him. Oh, nope, Amber and her friends. Mark watching from a respectful distance. And he can't, and she's gonna look up, yep. And not see him. And their house rebuilt again. Good to be home, right, Oliver? How are you ever gonna feel safe in this house again? We should get dinner going. You've got class tomorrow, right? Really? I mean, is college even in the cards at this point? Cause like, Come on. You're not gonna be sleeping anytime soon, I see. You got a lot on my mind. Things are gonna be different now, aren't they? Yeah. I'm quitting college. It doesn't make sense. I'm missing all my classes, and the more I think about it, what's the point? Am I gonna be a dentist, a lawyer, a, a coder? Why would I do any of that? College does a lot more than just prepare you for a job. <sighs> Mark? I can't. I just can't. I have to learn how to control myself. <sighs> 
Because she's seeing the consequences if he doesn't. I have to get better. I have to be better. Also, it just like hurts I too much it. seeing the possibility of a normal life and knowing it can never be yours. Eve now? Oh my God, Mark. Oh. Cecil told us all about what happened with that psychopath. Is your mom okay? She's a lot stronger than she looks. How are you though? Traumatized. But you know I'm always here for you. He knows. There's something else I want to talk to you about. Okay. Oh. What's he gonna say? It's nothing, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mark. You don't deserve this. Oh, damn, that's where it ends. Oh, okay. Prison break? Prison break time? Come on. You there? I'm here, alien. I heard about what you did on Thraxa. Mark told me all about it. But you saw Mark? Oh, yeah. Leave him out of this. This isn't his fight. Let the boy have a moment of peace. They're gonna execute you, bro. They are, yes. Not successfully. I see the suffering of lesser beings, and it upsets me deeply. Good, it should. What I did to my son. Yeah, especially what you did to your son. I deserve death. Oh, God. I think I miss my wife. I mean, good. Like, you should. I mean, it's Debbie. Seriously, it ends on that? No? Wow. Hang on. Maybe there's a second post credit scene or something. No. Wow. Gonna need a minute or two to process that. As predicted, that episode was crazy awesome. It's crazy awesome. It's, oh god, there's just so much good writing in that. Like, first of all, the whole multiverse thing that they uh, did with Spider-Man and with Batman and, you know, ribbing, ribbing that a little bit just because there's just so many, uh, so many multiverse stuff going on these days. And it's kind of funny to me just because, like, Earlier this past week, I just finished my edit for my video for um, for everything everywhere all at once. So like, that's a lot of multiverse stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna tackle this stuff in like random order, like as it occurs to me. Nolan going, I deserve death. And Alan going, oh God. Like just rolling his eyes, saying like, I. Rolling his eye. Yeah, you do deserve death, but dude, you know what? That whole self-loathing complex thing you got going on here, it's getting in the way of actual improvement. Roy Mustang in Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, you did horrific things, but it's always a better, it's always better to atone and make amends if you can than to just die. And, it's, and it also makes you a more compelling character if you ask me. Just from a writing standpoint. Debbie, oh my god, I hated how much Debbie was in danger. You know what, I can excuse murder, I can excuse destroying planets, but I draw the line at hurting Debbie or threatening Debbie. And yes, that's a community joke. And the whole thing with Mark and Eve at the end, like, he knows she's in love with him. And I imagine he feels something similar, or is close to feeling the same way. I know their end game, I know that. I can tell it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. God, navigating that just as a fucking teenager, man, that's gotta be like a dozen different kinds of difficult for him, which sucks. No one's saying, I think I miss my wife. Just like the delivery on that line was just perfect. Like hats off to JK Simmons on that. He's, so, he, he's such a great voice actor, seriously. I know he does. I know he's done a lot, a lot of different, uh, sorry, my jaw is hurting me because I'm smiling too much. Um, a lot of different like voice acting roles over the years. He's so good, he's just so good. I was also thinking that like, if, uh, if and when he, no, I don't know if, when, if he makes it to, um, back to earth ever to see Debbie again. Dude, don't even put up a fight. Let her punch you, let her kick you, let her, slap you let her be angry at you man because let's face it you deserve it <laughs> it makes total sense for mark to quit college because like as nice as it probably would be to have some normal friends and to have a norm uh, some semblance of a normal like education and everything it's always gonna hurt more having that knowing that your your real life is like hero work knowing that your real life is monsters and aliens and stuff happening in the ocean. Oh, 
Wait, hang on. What happened with uh, in episode two? There was a whole thing with like Cecil analyzing the sound that that uh, the kaiju create made. It hurt Mark. That's gonna crop up later, isn't it? When is Oliver? When are, when's Oliver's powers gonna kick in? Seriously, because like if we have another Viltrumite, I mean, if his powers kick in, if those that'd be incredibly useful. I mean, he could be like a kid and it might take a while for him to be old enough to be responsible with them, but like, that could be useful. And Mark worrying so much about him turning into his dad, worrying so much that he's not good, or he's so, Mark is so good. He's such a good person, he's such a good person. Do you know how I can tell that? Because shitty people don't worry whether or not they're bad people, don't worry about that. They think they're great. They think they're the, they think they're hot shit. Truly awful people find ways to constantly validate and justify the terrible things that they do. They find ways to justify killing a baby. They find ways to justify executing people. They find ways to justify doing all the terrible shit that the alternative marks, alternative alternate universe marks did. Mark doesn't do that worries constantly is this a good thing does this make me a bad person that's a green flag that's all i'm saying oh sorry shit i forgot about the <sighs> i do that sorry alan being locked up in prison i mean he's got a plan right i feel like if nolan could brute force his way out of there he probably would have done it by now so if alan you got a plan right is all i'm asking because like i know you got two good guys on the inside now but like it's still it's still a prison and it's not going to be easy to get out so plan please i had another thought i thought about the alternate universes the talking dinosaurs was a weird thing the zombie world uh are we not going to see any more of that because of the uh Ang because angstrom levy is now dead also like i kind of expected this him as a threat to last a little bit longer just because like we only got him in um, in episode one of season two, a little bit in, at the end of season two, uh, of episode two of season two, he took a break for a long while, and then he only showed up this episode and at the end of the last episode. I kind of expected him to be a bigger, a more, to be more present. Oh, I also just realized the sequid that possessed the uh, the astronaut, that's still a problem. That's still on Earth. So that's gonna be a problem too. Also, kind of think about a lot of like um, like dangerous people are still out there. That mummy is gonna be a problem eventually. I think maybe, or maybe it'll just be a a one-off joke once a season. <laughs> That'd be funny. The gang war thing that was happening in episode five of season one. That's still a thing. The guy who could turn to stone. The battle beast. The white t tiger thing, lion thing, whatever. He's still out there. Not on Earth, but he's out there. It's only gonna get harder and harder from here on out, isn't it? Seriously though, like, I mean, no one had a point. Like, let the boy rest. Let Mark have a moment's peace, please. Let him have that. I love this show. It's so fucking great. It's an amazing show. And I'm really glad I did this reaction. I really, I'm really glad I reacted to it for the channel. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I give this season a solid 10. Excellent. Love it. Great show. Thank you so very much for watching. As usual, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate each and every single one. Do me a favor, leave a comment below. Talk about Invincible. Please just talk about Invincible. I need to talk to some people about the show. It's just, it's a, this show is amazing. I love it. As usual, I already said that. If you want to support the channel, please join my Patreon. Link is in the description below. Uh, check that out if you're interested. And uh, as usual, there is more stuff coming soon. So I will see you later.